Hello children. Today we are continuing with the topic of notice writing. Notice writing is an important writing skill. It is a short composition. Notices are effective means of communication in this modern age. They are one of the effective ways to reach a large number of people. The notice that you draft has to be clear and brief. And remember that it has to be to the point. There is no scope for flowery language. Notices for schools and colleges contain certain announcements or information to students and you have to write this notice in a very formal and simple language. What is a notice? So let us understand what is a notice. A notice is a written information or news announcement. Now what is an it? It provides us information. Certain announcement is to be made. That will be made through the notice. So in advance we come to know something that is going to happen. A notice may contain news or information about something that has happened or is likely to happen. So notice will provide you information about what is going to happen in future or what has happened. It may be a formal announcement of a public importance or an advance warning meant for compliance and information. If event is going to take place, sometimes announcement of that event. If a competition is going to take place, information about that competition and all the relevant information should be there in that notice. A notice can be about a meeting, it can be about an event, an excursion or a historical trip, a picnic lost and found. So something is lost then of that also you can find a notice. If something is found about that also you will find the notice. Or a meeting is to be conducted. Before that a notice has to be issued so that people will come know about that. An event is going to take place about that in few, if you want to give information in advance, you have to write a notice. So notice is meant for different purposes. So let's see what are the purposes for which notice is written.
So let us see what is the purpose of notice. What does it serve? Remember that notices are effective means of communication in this modern age. So they help us to disseminate information. So the information related to different issues or occasions that can be spread through notices. So if you want to reach to a large number of people, how can you reach? So write a notice about it and then it will reach to a large number of persons in a short time. So in the school you will find notices are displayed on the notice board. Hence a notice is written in simple and formal language. So what kind of language we use? We use very simple language. We use very formal language. We can't use flowery language. So they, they should not be anything abstract. Everything has to be clear. So clarity is very important in the case of notice. It is clear, brief and to the point. So remember that notices are effective means of communication and they are the best ways to reach to a large number of people in short time. Now let us see the format of the notice. So first of all, on the top you can write name of the institution or organization or office or name of the issuing agency. It can be any school or college. Then there should be suitable heading and then you have to write notice. So notice has to be written. Then what is heading for that? That also you should think of it. So what all it contains at the beginning? Name of the institution. Just below that you can write notice and just below that you can write heading or title for that notice. If the notice is about the competition, you can write up about that competition. If it's about a particular event, tournament, you can write about that tournament. If it is about a particular competition, essay competition, inter-house essay competition, remember that you should write the heading very short. So that is what is very important. There's no need to write heading very long. So remember that at the beginning, name of the institution, then you write notice, then you write suitable heading, date. How you write date is very important. The style in which you write. Don't write 29-6-2012. You must write 29 June 2012. 29 June 2012. This is the way you must write the date. You must mention the name of the month in words. Don't write in numbers the name of the month. Now contains the target group for whom the notice is. That you have to remember when you are drafting a notice. So content is very important and the content should be in 50 words. So the target group now if it is a particular event then you have to mention about date when it is going to take place then time then when you where it is going to take place all important details and all relevant details all that should be there in the body of the notice any extra information that is needed that also you should provide and body of the notice it should be in 50 words. Don't cross the word limit. That is what is very important there. Otherwise, you will be penalized for writing extra words or if you write short also, you will be penalized. Remember that you draft the notice in 50 words. So the content should be in 50 words. At the end, when you write, don't write regards, don't write yours sincerely. You have to simply sign there, write the name and the designation. 
If you are a school captain, write as school captain. If you are a secretary or principal, you can write as a principal there. So that should be mentioned. So who is undersigned? Who is writing that? Who is drafting that? That person's signature, name and designation is required at the end. So this is the format of the notice. Let us study about the content of the notice. Remember that content of the notice is very important. It carries two marks. Whatever you are writing, it has to be to the brief and to the point. So there is no scope for your flowery language. Something irrelevant or superfluous that should be avoid it. You have to use very formal and simple language. Now first of all remember what event is going to happen. So you have to think about the occasion for what you are writing the notice. Where will it take place? So the WH questions you have to keep it in mind. What, where, when, who, whom. So when will it take place? When the event is going to take place? Then you have to mention about the time. When it is going to start? When it is going to end? When, In the case of where venue, you have to mention about the venue. The place where it is going to take place. Who can apply? If it's an inter-house football tournament, who can apply? All the if it's essay competition, is it for junior classes or is it for senior classes who are eligible for that? Age group also matters a lot. So who is invited there? Who is the chief guest for the occasion? Who is going to welcome? So all those things can be mentioned there. And in case if any clarification is there, in case if any doubt is there, if you want to ask a question, whom to contact? So contact for further information to the undersigned. So for further information, contact the undersigned. You can write the way you want to write there. So whom should be contacted in case there are clarifications or questions? Now let us see the layout of a notice. At first you have to write the name of the organization or institution or office which is issuing the notice. So that you write in capital letters. Next you write notice. If you want you can underline that. Then you write the date. You can write the date in, uh, in any way which you like. 3rd November 2012, 3rd November 12, November 3, 2012, or November 3, 12. But don't write the numbers in the case of names of months. After that you write heading or topic. So whatever is related to that. If it's a competition, you mention about the competition. If it's about any particular event, you mention about that event. You can write in three words, four words, five words, but it should be highlighted. So you can underline that heading. Then next we come to the content. 
So that content has to be 50 words. All relevant matter that you write there, don't use flowery language. Then we come down to the signature, then name, name has to be written in block letters, then designation. That designation can be written in brackets. If he's a school captain, you write that. If he's principal of the school, it can be written principal. And the entire thing, the notice, has to be put in a box. Remember this. And I think it has to be put in a box. So let us see the sample of notice. And this notice is for a meeting. Let's see the question. Your school is to observe the Earth Day on 25th April. As the General Secretary of the Students' Council, write a notice informing the members about a meeting you wish to hold to plan the program. So remember that. What is it? It's the Earth Day and there is going to be a meeting. So you are going to invite for the meeting and you want to give information about the meeting. So how will you draft the notice? On the top, you have to write the name of the institution. It may be a school or a college. Now what is written here? Green Grove Public School, Salem. Then after that, write notice in caps. You can write in caps or you can just capitalize N. In the case of Green Grove Public School, Salem, you can capitalize all the first letters of the words. Now 10th April 2020, 2019, you can write like that. Then heading is very important here. House Council meeting regarding Earth Day celebrations. What you want to convey, that is what should come there in the heading. You can write in three words, four words, but you should be able to convey that. A meeting of the Students House Council will be held tomorrow, that is 11th April 2020 at 2 p.m in the school council office to discuss and finalize program for Earth Day celebrations. Important decisions about duties, items, certificates and mementos will be taken. Attendance of all the members is compulsory. Karthik Venugopal, that is signature. Then down name is written Karthik Venugopal and his designation is written in bracket. You can use bracket or you can avoid bracket. There is no problem.
Now let us see one example of notice. So first remember that on the top you have to mention about the school, about the institution. So on the top what is required? Name of the institution. So we have written here Sainik School Bijapur then followed by notice. 22nd June 2020 date. You see the style of date. Don't mention in numbers like 226 2020. It has to be 22 June 2020. Name of the month has to be in words. Then inter house football tournament that is the heading, that is the title, and that is underlined. That is important. So, name of the institution write notice then date then heading then we are coming to the content content has to be in 50 words remember that the content whatever you are writing it has to be simple you have to use formal language there is no scope for irrelevant matter no need of using flowery language the school is organizing football tournament from 25th June to 27th June 2020. The keep it in mind, you are issuing this notice on 22nd June. The tournament is going to be held from 25th June. So you can't write the date before 22nd June. So the tournament, so the notice will be issued in advance. The tournament will be conducted at the football playground in front of the main building. So we have mentioned about venue. We have mentioned when it is going to take place. The list of the teams should be handed over to the sports captain before 24th June 2020. For further information, so if there is any clarification, if there is any doubt, then what they should do, whom they should contact. So all those relevant details, complete details are required. So therefore for further information, contact the undersigned. So it is the notice is to the point, the notice is brief and the content, it contains 50 words. You have to keep in mind what is the word limit? Don't cross the word limit. Ramesh Patil, school captain. So Ramesh Patil, that's the name of the school captain. And at the end, the designation of the person who has issued this notice. That is also very important. Let us look into this question from examination point of view. Let us study about the breakup of marks. This is a short composition and in the question paper in English writing skills it will appear advanced writing skills. So in section B first question will appear on notice. So question number three. So if it comes it will be in question number 3. It will be for 4 marks. So format is for 1 mark. So format means what? So how you write the heading, the name of the institution, notice, date. So the pattern in which you write, the format that you follow is very important and that carries 1 mark. At the end, designation name so this will carry one mark content which is of 50 marks that will carry two marks so content will carry two marks at the end expression so expression means what your grammatical accuracy the way you have presented the answer so this also very important so how you have expressed the kind of language that you have used, 
the language has to be simple and relevant. Irrelevant details should be avoided. So remember this, notice writing is for 4 marks, format 1 mark, for contents 2 marks are allotted and for expression 1 mark is allotted. Important tips when you are writing a notice. Notice writing is a very important question. The first tip, be precise. What you want to convey, it has to be conveyed shortly, briefly and to the point. Irrelevant information is not required. The ideal length of notice is 50 words. So precise language, formal language is appreciated. It is a formal form of communication. So the language used should be formal as well. No flowery text. No superfluous material. The language has to be very formal, not informal way because it's official communication. So therefore, you have to use formal language. You are not addressing to the friends. Your tone has should not be friendly. It has to be official. Keep the sentences short and use simple words. Since notices are fairly brief, it is best to keep it simple. Use passive voice as far as possible. Present your notices in a proper format in a box. So when you are writing a notice, at the end, put the notice in a box. That is very important. Draw the line. The presentation should be neat and thus be appealing to the eye. So presentation is also very important here. It should be appealing to the eye. So the format is very important. 